All right, we're live. We're streaming now. All right. Okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's training. Um, today we are going to be talking about um, today is actually where we're going to the practical of actually running an ad. So we have been doing a lot of talking, you know, the last time, a couple of days, pretty lengthy training. Most of those trainings, we are going to even have to edit them and cut them shorter so that it come down faster to this particular um, training down here when we are working on the replay later on. Okay, so um, today we're going to be running um, a conversion ad. Now, the reason why you're seeing conversion is on the Facebook, um, on the meta ad uh, system, <laughs> there are different kind of ads, right? There are different kind of ads. When we try to set it up, I'm uh, going to explain further, but there are different kind of ads. However, one of the most important kind of, in fact, I, I, I do, let me not use the word one of the most important, one of the most valuable, the word is valuable important, but unless you are a very big brand, and unless you have millions to spend on adverts that you don't intend to get results from, the ad that you should be focusing on running is a conversion ad. Because even though there are so many other objectives outside of the conversion ad, majority of the rest are just there to create awareness and, and spend your money, but they are not targeted at getting you results. So what that means is, you can create awareness with those options. You'll be spending money on adverts or you won't be getting results. So when you go into conversion, it is when you want to be able to track that what you are doing is actually working. So if you have an online e-commerce store, that is a store online where people can order something, pay for, for the thing and then you ship it to them, you want to be able to track when someone buys, not just that someone viewed your page. That is called a conversion. So they did not just see your ad and land maybe on the page you created, but they converted. Or maybe you want someone to see your ad and send you a message. That's also a conversion on that messaging. They, they did not just see your ad and maybe looked at some information and that. Mm -mm. They saw your ad, looked at some information, and then clicked a button to send you a message. That's a conversion. So the, there are different kind of ads, but we are going to be focusing majorly on the conversion ads. And for this conversion ads, we are going to be setting this one. Um, sorry, one moment. Let me edit this. We are going to be setting this from the uh, Facebook ad manager. Let me call it Facebook ad manager. They don't go confuse me. Let do this uh, name change. Sorry. All right. Okay, great. So. Uh, the conversion ads we're going to be running today is from the Facebook ads manager. The Facebook ads manager. I've already pretty done a lot of explanation on this in the previous uh, videos. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't panic. We're going to get back um, to each and every one of them shortly later on. We'll make the replays available for you to um, watch. Now, there are three major things we're going to be needing for to set up a conversion ad. So first, we're going to be needing a landing page, which is you have to have created a landing page where you're going to be sending people from your adverts to. And then on the landing page, you have to have made sure that you have installed a pixel on the landing page and you have set up uh, tracking. You have to ensure that you have installed pixel on the landing page and you have set up tracking. Again, if any of the things I'm saying is sounding very new to you, it means you have to watch the replays. Right, and then lastly, we would need to get creatives and copy. We need to get creatives and copy. The creatives, like I explained, is the image or video you're going to run the ads with, and then copy is the right up that is going to accompany the image and video um, of the ads you want to run. Okay, so first is first, you of course are going to need your Facebook account, and then once you log into the Facebook account, just for the sake of clarity. Always check the account quality to ensure that um, ensure that everything is okay. Because even if you don't do anything on the account, you can still be you can still find a funny restriction there. So just head over to facebook.com/account quality. If you are doing this on your mobile phone, make sure you set your mobile device 
make sure you set your mobile device to desktop mode else these things won't open properly and what you're about to do is best to do it on the computer but if you don't have access to a computer it's fine you can do it on a mobile phone just know it's not going to be very easy doing it Kind of rub this, this, this again, and then you put your sorry one moment. I think my internet just went off. Uh, okay, please if you can hear me, type one 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 in the comment section. I think one of my if you can hear me. Type one, one in the comment section. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. My, I think one of my internet connection went off. All right, so um, back to what I was saying. So I said before you run the ad, first thing you want to do is you want to head over to, you want to ensure you are logged into your Facebook account and then head over to facebook.com slash account, um, facebook.com slash account quality. Now, what's to run an advert um using the meta ads manager or the facebook ads manager it is going to be best you do it from a computer or a laptop right but if you don't have access to a computer or laptop you can also do it on a mobile phone you just have to ensure that you put your mobile phone in desktop mode again i've explained all of that in previous trainings put your device in desktop mode and then once you put it in desktop mode you can turn your device to the side so instead of holding your phone straight you can turn it landscape so it looks like a smaller computer screen and then you can do most of this process that we are going to be talking about right here right it's going to be easier um that we're doing it right here so first things first check your account quality head over to facebook.com slash account quality click on view my accounts click on view my account all right and ensure your facebook account ensure once you don't see any red anywhere here as you can see no advertising issue on the personal facebook account itself and then on the business account i have multiple business accounts here and everything is okay and good to go so first things first the advert account and everything is okay and good to go so we are able to advertise now the next thing we want to do is we want to head over to facebook.com we want to go into what is called the Facebook Ads Manager. Now, this is where you're going to be setting up the adverts from. This is where you're going to be funding your advert accounts from and everything. Facebook.com slash ads ads manager. Facebook.com slash ads manager. Facebook.com slash ads manager. All right. Once you open that, once you hit enter, it's going to open something that looks like this and it's going to tell you launching ads manager now you wait for it to load completely wait for it to load completely and then once it loads completely by default please ladies and gentlemen follow me carefully by default it is going to select your personal facebook account uh sorry let me refresh that let me not continue by default it is going to select the ads account that comes with your facebook profile not the one in your business account and how you can how you would know is you if you notice up here in this box but the name of this profile is on this profile is just another number so it is mentioning the name on this profile now if i tap on this drop down menu all these ones are still some personal uh, uh profile ad accounts but you want to select the ad accounts inside of a business account. Hey, let me rephrase that. If you have been following us in the training so far, I, one of the things I explained is when you want to run ads, don't run the ads with the ad account that comes with the Facebook profile. That's your personal uh, Facebook account. Every Facebook account, that's normal Facebook account, usually by default has an advert account attached to it don't run ads with that one and that is what is going to be selected by default when you go to facebook.com slash ad manager what you do is you click this drop down menu and then you click on see more ad accounts 
then you will now see the ad account that is inside of your own business account that you have created. Again, if you have been following the training so far, this shouldn't be very hard for you to understand. Okay, so you go to facebook.com. Let me close it. Let me close it. You go to facebook.com. That's to access the ad manager, facebook.com slash ads manager. Facebook.com slash ads manager. You hit enter. It will open up the, uh, uh, the ads manager. Now, once it opens up the ads manager, by default, by default, please follow me carefully, by default, it is going to select your personal advert account. That is the profile that you have, the Facebook profile that you have, the personal ad account of that profile, which I told you not to use to run adverts with, is going to be what is selected. So you now have to go and select the ad account you have created inside of the business, uh, inside of the uh, uh, business, business manager to run ads with. Let me use business manager. I think that will make it easier so you don't mix it up. So what you do is you come to this box here. You click the drop down menu. You click on see more ad accounts. And then you will now see the business managers you have. Business managers also mean business accounts. So if I say business managers, you will see the name of the business managers you created. And then you will see the ad accounts inside of them. For instance, I have about um, three business managers, also known as business accounts, on this Facebook profile, which was what you saw when I went to um, Facebook.com slash, uh, when I went to account quality, when I went to, to account quality and I clicked on, um, and I clicked on view all my Facebook business accounts. One moment, please. Now, as you can see, this is the Facebook profile. This is the name on the Facebook profile, the Facebook account by default. Now, on that business account, business accounts also mean business managers. There are three different business managers here. Now, this one has an uh, ad account. This one has an ad account. This one doesn't have an ad account. So if I come back to the ad manager now, and I click here, and I click on see more ad accounts, you notice that this is the first business manager. This is the second business manager, FCM Biz 1, FCM Biz 2. FCM Biz 1, FCM Biz 2. And inside FCM Biz 1 and 2, I created ad accounts. In the FCM Biz 1, I call the account FCM Biz. I call the ad account FCM Biz 1. In the FCM Biz 2, I call the ad account MCN. I call the ad account MCM Biz 2. Now, the advert account I want to use is this one. But I'm, I just, I just, I just, something just, I just remembered something. This is the one I want to use. And once I click on it, it will switch it into that particular ad account. This is the ad account I want, I want to use. Now, the moment I clicked it, you notice that it switched to that particular ad account. It switched to that particular ad account. Now, this is not where you are going. This is not how your account is going to look if this is your first time running an advert. It is going to look very, very, very different. So for the sake of people who are watching this for the first time or who are stumbling on this for the first time, let us use this second ad account, which is completely new. And, um, and um, I haven't done anything on it yet. All right, so notice we have a lot of message popping up. You can cancel this one, cancel this one. You don't need this one, cancel this one. So we have quite some message here. I've selected this is a new advert account. When I say ad account, it means advert account. This is a new ad account and I've not run any ads, nothing. You can see everything is empty and it, we have a lot of message. Now, here, first of all, on that update, something is telling us add payment method. There is a problem with the payment method for FCM Biz 1. You need to add or update payment method before you can publish an advert. Yes, we know that. We're going to get into that. I'm going to cancel it first. Now, up here, we have another additional information. It says, does your business, and then it calls the ad account name, focus on politics or on advocating for issues of national importance? 
we will use this to improve the quality of your ads shown to people. Click no. We are not running ads for political. Uh, we are not running ads on politics or, ad or advocating of issues of national import importance. So we click no for this. Now, once you click no for this, I want you to take note of this other section. You are going to have something like this, and it's going to tell you get set to run ad. And then it's going to tell you something. It says confirm a few details in account overview so that you can publish your first campaign. If it is your first time running ads, it is going to tell you to confirm a few details before you can publish your first ad. And how do you get to this account overview? You simply use this button here. All right, so once you click on that button, it is going to load up. All right, now, once it loads up, once it loads up, you're going to have um, those options showing here. Now, what are the options that are going to show here? First, it's going to tell you to add the code. Second, it is going to tell you to create a Facebook page. <laughs> it's going to tell you to create a Facebook page. First, please observe and follow me carefully. It is telling you to add a payment method. Second, it is telling you to create a Facebook page. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please, I want you to follow me carefully. If you are Nigerian, this is where a lot of people start making issues, uh, uh, start getting it wrong. And then eventually they tell you, hey, I'm not able to pay for my advert. This, that, something happened. This one happened. That one happened. If you are a Nigerian, which majority of people watching this thing will be, when you see this ad payment method and you click on ad payment, it's going to bring up an option that looks like this. Now, irrespective of if you are Nigerian, anywhere you are from, it is going to bring up an option that would look like this. But if you are not Nigerian, you won't see this option that says Naira payment with MasterCard or Visa pay you. If you are not Nigerian, you are most likely going to still see this option. Wants to use it. It has to be a card that can be charged in dollars because even though they can show you, they will be able to show you how much you are spending in your local currency. This option that says debit or credit card charges your card in dollars, which is why if you are a Nigerian, you have no business using this first option. Because first of all, this first option is not going to pay you. It's going to make you spend more. Because Facebook is going to be telling you, for instance, that this advert campaign that you're running, you're running from 2000 AD. But due to the dollar rate and everything and the whole this and that going on currently, you might end up spending up to 3,000 or 4,000 for that same ad. And Facebook is going to be showing on the advert manager that you spent 2,000. Because this option is going to charge your card in dollars. And then secondly, most cards cannot be charged in dollars. That's why most people that use this option are the people where you'll be here, I'm having issues paying with my card. Facebook cannot charge my card. This option was not meant for you in the first place. That's where the issue happened. If you're in Nigeria, you want to use the second option. Now, these two options, even though they are here together, are different. Now, what do I mean? This first option is called a post-paid option. This second option is called a prepaid option. What does post-paid mean? What does prepaid mean? You see this option that says debit or credit card. If I click this option and I click next, please follow me carefully and I click next. On the next page, it is going to tell me to add my card. Now, once I add the card, what they are going to do is they are simply going to try, they are, they are simply going to do what is called a temporary charge on the card. So they are going to try and take out, um, they're going to try and take out a, like a dollar. And then that $1 that they're going to take out, they're most likely going to refund it. Sometimes it happens instantly, but after a couple of hours, they will refund it back to the card. Or they will take a dollar or equivalent of a dollar if that card that you put can be charged in dollars. 
Now, they would not charge you anything again once they are able to successfully add that card until you start running the adverts. And then once you start running the adverts, they will be charging you when you reach a certain threshold. So, for instance, when the advert account is new, after you add your card, and then you run ads, maybe you run ads and get to like 2,000 something, they are going to charge your card of that 2,000 something in Naira. Maybe because if you already set up the advert account in Naira, everything will be shown in Naira. Now they will tell you they want to charge that 2,000 something in Naira. The problem with that is, even though the advert account is showing that it is in Naira, when they try to charge your card, they are going to charge your card the dollar equivalent of that Naira. And the problem is the dollar equivalent is usually higher. So even though Facebook is showing you the, the how do I explain this now? That's going to make it very easy. Even though Facebook is showing you that you have spent 2000 Now, according to Facebook uh, calculation, they can be using Google rates. For instance, if I search for Naira to dollar rates on Google. Uh, dollar to Naira. Is it Naira to dollar? Be dollar to Naira. I think we are meant to do it the other way. Dollar to Naira. Okay, perfect. Now, if you search on Google, this is what Google is going to show you. It's telling you that right now, $1 is 769 Naira. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Nigerian, if you are a Nigerian and you don't know that this is not accurate, sorry, because first of all, the market for dollar and exchanges is very porous that Google does, Google does not have enough data points to be able to um, update it quickly. Dollar as of today, as of today that I'm making this um, meeting, in Naira is close to 1,050 Naira per dollar. So don't be ignorant. When someone asks you how much dollar is, if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> you cannot put that one on Google because in Nigeria, it, most of those parameters are not being updated. And how you get dollar is black market. You don't get it officially from the bank. So bank official rate is not available to the public. So if you're trying to look for what is the dollar rate, you can't go on Google. Now, the problem and why I'm diverting to this point is Facebook would actually be calculating dollar based on this. And then they'll be showing you a Naira equivalent that, okay, well, this advert, you have spent 2,000 Naira or 3,000 Naira. For instance, let me, let me do $5 of this amount. $5, of, um, $5 times 769. Okay, that's about 3,800. So for instance, you spend your first 4,000, right? Now, Facebook is trying to charge your card of that first 4,000 that you spent. They cannot charge that card in Naira if you use this first option here. So they are going to change it and charge the card of the equivalent in dollar. Now, what is the equivalent in dollar? I just told you that a dollar as of today is 1,050 Naira. I think it even ended higher, but 1,050 now, let's use that. So you spent 4,000. Facebook is now about to charge your card. They are now charging you, they now want to, and they are now charging you dollars. So let's say $5. $5 times 1,050 Naira is 5,250 uh, 5, Naira. It's 5,250 Naira, right? It's 5,250 now. So even though you have spent 4K and they're about to take the money, the money, in fact, problem is most of the Nigerian cards will not be able to take that payment. You have to go and use something called a virtual dollar card or a domiciliary dollar card that has dollar inside of it. That a domiciliary dollar card that has that has um, a domiciliary dollar card that has dollar inside of it. Sorry, one moment. A domiciliary dollar card that has dollar inside of it or a virtual card that has dollar inside of it so that they can charge that five dollar 
And this rate I'm giving you, Seth, is black market rates. If you are buying on the virtual card app, the amount is going to be higher. So you spent 4,000 in Naira, but you ended up paying close to 5,500. You see why this first option is not for you? But you see this second option that says Naira payments. This one, you are going to be able to use your MasterCard, your Visa card, or even your VEV card to make the payment in as much as the card can be charged, in as much as the card can make online payments. But this one is like loading the charge card on your phone. If you run out of airtime on your phone, you are not able to make any call. If you don't have airtime on your phone, you are not able to make any call. Same way, another way to explain this is if you use a prepaid meter for electricity. If the amount of units you have on your prepaid meter run out, it will stop. Even if there is electricity, every other person has electricity, you, because you don't have units on your meter, you won't have electricity. So this option is prepaid. And this is the option that is advised because not because it is prepaid, but because they will collect the exact amount from your account. So with this option, if you want to load 1,000, as you load 1,000, 1,000 is going to appear on your advert account. So if you want to start running ads, for instance, and okay, you are saying you're starting your ad with 2,000 Naira a day budget, right? That's 2,000 Naira a day budget. All you simply need to do, once the ad has been approved, don't load all the money once. I don't worry, I'm going to get to that. Don't load all the money once. Why? Because they can disable your account at any bloody time. Again, I don't want to use that word bloody, but I just have to use that word because the one of the accounts that was giving us issues um, a few days back when we were trying to do the training that I told you I did a review on, they permanently restricted that account and he had already funded it with 10,000 Naira. That money has gone. You can recover it because that account did not even have a backup as they permanently restricted it. So when you are using this prepaid option, you want to be safe. So I'm going to get to how you do that when we proceed. Don't load all the money once, right? But before you run your ads, you have to load something. So if you are in Nigeria, what I like to do personally is I'll just click on this option and I'll hit next. And then it will ask you how much do you want to fund your account with? And I like to put um, a hundred naira. I like to, okay, so if this is your first time funding your advert account, it's going to tell you additional information needed, or if this is your first time in general adding payments, it's going to tell you additional information needed. Enter your VAT ID, blah, 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 leave it blank. It is optional, just leave it and hit skip. So once you hit skip, it is going to tell you here, it is going to tell you here to select how much you want to add. By default, the amount that always shows is 4,005. That's the amount that always shows. It does not mean that you can fund lower. You can fund lower, as a matter of fact, you can fund 100 Naira. Okay, now do I have any card that I need to make it for me? No, I'm not sure. All right, uh, so you can fund 100 now. Just enter 100 and then hit next. By the way, I can't even display my card on this call. So uh, once you hit next, it's going to open up, and then once you hit continue, it's open. It's open a new tab. There's a new tab that is open right now. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me see. So once you hit that continue, it is going to open up a new tab. If you are if you are using a computer, it's open up a new tab for you to enter your card information. And then once you are done, similar way to when you are using your card to check out for something online, it's going to tell you to enter the 16 digits in front of your card, the expiry date in front of your card, the three digit security code at the back of your card, and then your name. And then once you enter your name and hit next, depending on the bank you use, it will tell you, it will tell you uh, confirm your uh, select, let them send the code to you to confirm your transaction. And then once you enter the code, once you hit once you enter the code, your bank will send you an SMS with the code telling you that you're about to make a payment of so, so, so amount. Enter this code to confirm. Once you enter that code to confirm and you hit and you hit confirm, it's going to come back and tell you payment successful. That is how you add money if you're a Nigerian. Now, what if you're not a Nigerian? 
the option for Cameroonians that I know is you have to look for an option that allows you to spend in dollar. That has, you have to look for an option that allows you to have a virtual, uh, a virtual uh, dollar card. Or you can also open, you can also get like a UBA account. I heard that the card that UBA gives can be charged in dollars. So another option you might also consider is getting a UBA dollar card. So you fund it with it and then you run your ad with it. I think we are going to have a more dedicated training explaining that if you're in Cameroonian and, uh, and also if you are in Ghana. But if you are a Nigerian, please don't be angry that I'm saying Nigerian. Most of the people watching this are from Nigeria. If you are a Nigerian, nothing concerns you with this first option. You use the second option, pay you. And then once you, for the first time, if it's a new advert account, just add 100 Naira. You don't add more than that. Add 100 naira, and I'm going to explain why as we progress. Just add the 100 naira. Once you come back here and you have added the 100 naira, this payment successful is going to be showing green. It's going to be showing green. Now, second one is add payment method. A second one, sorry, is create a Facebook page. Now, the reason why this one is saying create a Facebook page is because there is no Facebook page on this um, uh, profile. I've not created a Facebook page on this profile that has not been attached to a business uh, business uh, account already. What do I mean? Before you can run out, you need to have an advert account, yes? Which you are going to access from the ad manager. You also need to have a page, which is where the ads is going to be running from. So for instance, if I head over to facebook.com right now, uh, God help us, we see an advert. Anyway, we'll see an advert. Uh, they know the final. Okay, perfect. Now, the advert you can see here is from Google Ads, right? This advert you can see here is from Google Ads. This, and how you know it's an advert is you can see the sponsored sign directly below it. Now, this is the copy, very short copy. This is the image here. And then this is the call to action button here, learn more. This is also the advert headline, part of the copy. And then there's also a discovered, uh, discovered text. Now, for Google Ads to be able to run this page to show, uh, uh, to be able to run this advert to show on Facebook, they need a page. And if I click on their page, if I click on that place, it takes me directly to their page. As you can see, this is Google Ads page, right? So to run an advert, you need a page. That's part of the reason why we created a page earlier. You cannot run an advert with a profile. You cannot run an advert with just your profile. You need a page. So as you can see, this is Google Ads. They are running ads and they are running it. They are sponsoring it from their page. So it shows to you from their page because it has to show from a page. So they know who is this person. And then they can click on your page and go on your page, look out for more information about what it is you do. Okay? So I'm going to come back here. So once you have created a page, I've not created another page that I can add to this. You will get an option to select one of the pages available on that Facebook profile that you have created. The reason why nothing is showing you and it's telling me to create a brand new page is because I, there's pages on this Facebook profile, but all those pages have already been attached to another business account. So once you select one of the pages you have already created, again, we have done a Facebook ad, creating a page training before this point. Once you select it, everything here is going to now turn green, just the way this verify email address is. The reason why this one is green by default before we got here is because when we are creating the business, uh, the business uh, manager account, we added an email address and we verified it. That is why this one is green. So once you add payment for Nigerians, add 100 Naira. If you're outside of Nigeria, add your card that can be charged in dollars. This will turn green, and then here you will select the page from one of the pages you have on your Facebook profile that you want to use to run ads. And that page must not have been linked to another business account. If not, it would not show here. Okay, what do I mean? Let me go to facebook.com. This is facebook.com. Where's my pages? Let me click on see more. Let me go to pages from here. As you can see, I have two pages this page here and this page here. But these two pages are connected already into a business account. That is why nothing is showing here and it's telling me to create a page. 
So for you, if you have not already connected it to any business account, it will show here for you to select the page. Then you select the page that you want to use to run the ads. Is what I'm saying. Does am I making sense? Please type one 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 in the chat if I'm making sense and if you're understanding what I am saying, or if I need to go about it again. One 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 in the chat if you're if you're understanding what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is 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 clear, and it's clear. If it's not clear, let's know if we re, uh, revisit it quickly before we progress. Okay, thank you, um, Mr. Kim. There's going to be a replay. If I continue recapping, we won't leave you in another two hours plus, and we won't have run the ads. Okay. So once you have done all of that, once you have done all of that, everything here will be green. Everything here will be green, and then once you go back here. It is going to give you an, you wouldn't see this option that says to set up your ad, go to account overview. Everything here will be green and you're going to launch on something that is going to look, let me switch back to the one that I, I've already done all of that process. Okay. Once you sort out all the issue on the um, account overview page, it's going to take you to something that looks like this. And then once you come back to this section that says campaigns, it will tell you, you won't see any of this. This is campaigns I've created before. You will just notice that you will see a button that says create your first campaign. Create your first campaign. It's now going to tell you you can create your first advert campaign. Now, you necessarily don't have to use that button that will show around this place that I'm hovering my mouse. You are not going to see any of this. This is because I'm already using this place to advertise before now. That's why it is like this. Okay. So now you have successfully added. If you're in Nigeria, you have successfully added your first hundred naira to the advert account. Uh, if you are not in Nigerian and uh, if you're in Cameroonian, don't worry. We'll revisit that that topic, Charlie. I'm coming for you guys. But the issue of payments for if you're outside of Nigeria, but setting up the advert is the same irrespective of where you are from. Okay. Once you have sorted all of that, you have selected the page you want to run adverts with. Once you come here to create your first advert campaign, you're going to start from this button here. But let me go back to the slide first. Okay. So I mentioned three things that you're going to need here to run your first conversion campaign, right? You're going to need a link to your landing page. So for me, this is the landing page here. This is the landing page, which is where I'm going to be sending people to directly from the ads. This is the landing page I'm going to be using. Second, I said you have to ensure your pixel is installed on the landing page and set up for tracking. I've already set up a pixel here. And if you notice for my pixel helper, uh, pixel helper add-on, let me, let, me, let, me, let me refresh this. Going to refresh this from my pixel helper add on right here. See, showing one. All right, I already have pixel installed. If you remember when I was doing pixel training, I explained what this is for. So I already have the pixel installed, and I've already set up that pixel to track whenever someone clicks this reserve your seat button. I've already set it up to track whenever someone clicks this button, it's automatically adds it that a lead just came in because they click this button that says reserve your seat and this button leads them directly to whatsapp so it once they open this button on the phone it's automatically open on their whatsapp i don't know why it's taking long to load i think it's a network okay but it leads them to whatsapp and then thirdly you want to have your creative and your ad copy now for me i have um there are multiple images actually I have an image I can use for this advert uh, copy uh, for this uh, uh, conversion ad we want to run, and I've already created the copy. The copy is pretty simple. I pieced it together. I want to use an image, so I already have a copy for that. Okay, why is this link taking forever? Please, if you can hear me, type one one one. If you can hear me, please type one one one. Let me be sure my network is actually functional. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great. 
So you have to ensure all these three things are ready. And I already have those three things ready for myself. Okay, by the way, this button here is meant to open a link on WhatsApp. And this one that is taking forever to load. Anyway, I'll check it before the ads actually start running. Okay, so let's head back to our ads manager. This is where we set up the ads from. Once you have sorted all the issue with the account overview, it shouldn't be hard to set to set to. Okay, the WhatsApp link has opened. Okay, so this is the link. This button, this button here opens a link that takes them directly to WhatsApp and it says, hello, I'm interested in the online 1000 club. My name is dot, 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 so they can enter their name. Okay, I'm going to close that and then I'm going to come back to the ads, ads manager. So here, in the ads manager, once you're ready to create your first campaign, what do you do? Okay. Now, I'm having a very strong feeling that before we create a campaign, I should talk about um, audiences. But let me, let's just, let's just go along. I'm going to talk about it as I create the campaign. All right, so create your first campaign. You look at this green button here. You can't miss this button. This button here that says create, you tap on it. And then once you tap on it, <laughs> sorry once you tap on it it is going to open up this part that tells you choose a campaign objective choose a campaign objective and then if you notice here there are different campaign objectives there's awareness there's traffic there's engagement there's leads there's app promotion and then there is sales there's awareness there's traffic, there's engagement, there's leads, there's app promotion, there's sales. Let me break it down. First, if you hover your mouse around awareness, it explains what awareness is. It says, show your ads to people who are most likely to remember them. Awareness. This one is not for small business owners. It's mostly for big brands. They are the ones that want to just run their ads for rich. Let them reach the maximum number of people that may be interested. Maybe they are trying to create brand awareness. They are trying to get more people to watch their video. Right? They are trying to get more people to know about their physical store location. They are trying to create awareness and let people know that, okay, we'll just open shop, physical shop in this place. So please know about it. That is awareness. Second is traffic. Traffic is you send people to a destination like your app, website, Instagram profile, or Facebook event. Okay? So this one, if you want to send people to your Instagram profile, use traffic objectives. If you want to send people to your Facebook page, or if you want to send them to a landing page you created, use traffic objective. If you want them to call you, use traffic objective. If you want them to uh, 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 send like uh, land on your WhatsApp, use traffic objective, but not for conversion. Now, please follow me. Traffic is basically, you just want as many people as possible to see your landing page, that's click the button, see your landing page, see your profile, uh, 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 see your Instagram profile, see your Facebook page, and so on and so forth. Traffic, no specific engagement. Third is engagement. You want people that will like your post, you want, to, you want people that will like your post, and then it says get more messages, purchases through messaging, video views, post engagement, page likes, and event responses. Good, but this is not what we need. What we need is this fourth one, leads, leads. We want to collect leads for our business or brand, people that are likely to buy what we're about to sell. If you're selling an online course, if you're selling an online course, if you're selling an online program, one of your most important aspects of focusing on ads is generating leads. You generate leads. You either send them directly to WhatsApp, which is the easier version, or you send them to an email list where you are going to actively send them email, which is the bit complex version, right? You want to collect leads because it is those leads, as we follow up with them, over time, some of them become buyers. So we are collecting leads. Let me see you explain this one. This one is if you want to promote your app. So, say you have an app means application. So maybe you have an application you use for Android or for App Store. You want to promote it, you use this one. I'm not going to talk more about it. We don't have apps. Lastly is sales. Sales is still under conversion. If you notice, please observe something. When I click on leads, notice something. It says it is good for one, instant form, Messenger and Instagram, 
when you want people to contact your messenger and Instagram, when you want to set up conversions, and if I put my mouse around conversion, it says get people to share their contact information, complete a registration form, submit an application, or take another action on your website or app, conversions. And then if you also want people to call you, you want serious people, or at least you want more serious people. Why I'm using the word more serious people is, no matter how you set up your ads, you're always going to have more serious people coming. But you want more serious people, and you are, you are here for serious business. Even if it's calls you want to set up for, still use conversion leads for calls. If I go to sales, sales also has conversion because this means people find your find your adverts, click on a link, land on your website, buy something. Now, in most parts in Africa, they might not pay upfront, right? But outside of Africa, in first world countries. People actually see adverts online, click on a link, land on the page, select an item, add it to their cart, and pay for it. They are going to fall under sales conversion. Or even if they just say they want to buy this in payment on delivery, that is going to fall under sales conversion. They saw your ad, they clicked on the link, they got to a page or your website, they scrolled, listened to, uh, uh, read carefully on the image, checked out the image and the uh, write-up of the product you're selling, and then they ordered for one, either paying immediately or payment on delivery, and then they got to a thank you page. That is a conversion for sales. Now, we are interested in leads. We are interested in leads because we want to get as many people, potential people that will be interested in buying what we are selling. So we are interested in leads. So once you select leads, you hit uh, continue. Now, once you hit continue, Facebook recently started something. And they're going to tell you, choose a campaign setup. Create your leads campaign using a tailored and streamlined method or manually build your campaign. Suggestions may vary based on your recent ad account activities. See, if they bring this option for you, don't use this tailored leads option. Select manual lead campaign. And this one, it is going to allow you to set up everything from scratch. Okay? It is going to allow you to set up everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on select manual leads campaign. And then I'm going to hit continue. All right. Uh, sorry, I think someone is trying to say something. Okay, please mute your mic. Please mute your mic. Um, this one, please mute your mic. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now, once you are once you select manually manually create from scratch, you are going to land here. And the first thing here, it is going to tell you to select the name of your campaign. Select the name of your campaign. That is, what do you want to call? What do you want to call this new campaign that you're about to run? Now, your campaign name can be anything. Don't overthink it. Just name it something that will help you remember what you set it up for. The image you use, if you have multiple creatives, name it something that will help you remember. So for me, for instance, I'll, I'll name this 1K Club. And then I'm going to put bracket open old age um, image image 16 to 50, 16 to 60. That is the name of the campaign. Don't overthink it. Just name it something that will help you remember what that particular campaign is about uh, and what exactly you set it up for. So that's what they'll just name it something that will help you remember. So for you, 1K Club, 1K Club 1 might be okay. You don't have to overthink it, right? 1K Club 1, or you name it something that will help you easily remember what and what you set up inside of the campaign. So it's because of the image I want to use as creative. That's why I'm naming it 1K Club image 16 to 60. Okay? So name your own something that is going to help you identify. Don't come and be overthinking name again. It's still you that is going to be seeing it whenever you log into your ad manager. You just want to name it something that will help you remember, okay? Now, once you name it, under special ad categories, you don't have to touch anything here. 
because here if you only have to touch here if you are running ads that are related to credit employment or housing or about social issues elections or politics requirements differ by country yeah, nigeria if you're in africa per se nothing concerns you here especially when you're not running a political advert all right now if you scroll down a bit you're going to see campaign details campaign details you don't have anything to do here it's going to tell you buying type you don't have anything to do here campaign objective is lead which we selected uh, uh before we go here then a b testing you want to leave it the way it is a b testing you want to leave it the way it is and then advantage campaign budgets advantage campaign budget you can choose to set how much you want to spend for this campaign here or you can choose to do it inside of the next level but for me i like to do it from here so i'm going to turn it on and then once i turn it on and i scroll down it's going to tell me set your campaign budget it says let me just read this part it says advantage campaign budget will distribute your budget across currently delivering assets to get more results depending on your performance goal choices speed strategy and so on and so forth please you can read this later the english is plenty but you set your budget of how much you want to spend daily from here now if you don't want to do daily if you want to run the ads for a particular period of time instead of daily you can select lifetime budget and then maybe you want to run the ads for seven days and then seven days will be are doing minimum two thousand a day so you set it to fourteen thousand fourteen thousand so fourteen thousand lifetime budget don't worry on the next page you'll be able to select when you want it to start and when you want it to stop however i do not advise running campaigns with a lifetime budget even if you don't have enough money always leave it at daily budget why because once your money finishes or once your money is about to finish and you are not using a postpaid option if you are in nigerian and you are using the normal prepaid option i showed you once your money finished, what you will notice is your account is going to going to go is going to go into something called account error. Your advert will stop. Nobody is going to pursue you. You are not owing anybody any money. Your money has finished. Until the day you load it again, that is when your advert start running. And when you notice you are you are running out of cash to fund it with, you can simply go to the advert and then turn it off. And then once you have money, you load, you can turn it on again. The advert will turn on and continue running. Okay, so always leave it at daily budget. Now, what is the minimum you are going to use? If you are Nigerian and you want to run an advert that can get you a tangible result, especially for needs, do it minimum 2,000. Now, please, this minimum of 2,000 is based on the product we are selling. We are trying to sell a course, 1K club, that even after the upgrade and everything, is under 20,000. Now, understand that the budget you spend on advertising is going to directly correlate on the kind of results you get. So if you are spending 2000 and the cost of you to get one lead, the average cost to get a lead on Facebook right now, the average amount is around 150 Naira a lead per lead that comes in. In fact, in some cases, it's up to 200. It's up to 200. I'm talking about the actual number of people that will charge you. So if you are spending a daily budget of 200 of 2000 sorry you are looking at averaging if your ads and everything is okay your ad your creative is okay your ad copy is okay the ad is performing well you are looking on having an average of 10 people a day charge you at 2000 naira for what you are about to sell now i'm going to give you another example because i have that experience imagine you are not selling a product like a digital product like the one we are selling and then you are selling a product that is worth higher for instance you are into real estate and you're selling a product worth 1.5 million per plot for instance an estate worth 1.5 million per plot or 2 million per plot right or in fact let me let me, before i go to that part let me switch it you are selling an e-commerce product a product where once people order you do payments on delivery you ship it to them they pay the logistics person and that product is selling for fifty thousand if you are running ads to sell a product of fifty thousand, don't be shocked when you spend two thousand on some days and you don't get any sale because depending on the kind of product you are selling 
2,000 naira might not be enough for Facebook to go and find you the customer because the more you spend, the more reach your advert has. Right? So if you're selling 50,000 naira product where people have to order and then do payment on delivery, don't be shocked when you start spending 2,000 a day and it doesn't get you results. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is over time, people keep asking you, how much do I spend on advert? How much do I spend on advert? Like, how much can I run advert with? Like, how much can I run advert with? It depends on what you sell. It depends on the demand available for what you sell. See, if I want to even go into how to determine your advert budget, we can spend another one hour plus just talking about how to determine your advert budget. But I'm just giving you a broad idea because the product we are going to be selling is a digital product. The product is going to be under 20,000 Naira for Nigerians. That's basically $20. So you can start with a budget of 2000 Now understand something. I am not saying the highest budget is 2000 I am saying the lowest budget you should think of starting with if you want to run the ads is 2000 Don't go and try to run as a 1000 And then come into my inbox and start telling me, hey, I ran this ad for five days. Nobody entered my inbox. At 1000 it's not a miracle. This 2000 that you're looking at is less than two dollars that's what we are setting it if you go into the uh if you're running as in dollars by default the minimum you need to be spending is even five dollars but at least we are not running the ads to first world countries we are still running the ads to nigeria and the product we are selling has a low price point and even our funnel doesn't talk about price ladies and gentlemen this is very important even the setup we are going to do now it doesn't tell them up front that they are paying twenty thousand. all it tells them is I'm going to show you how to do so, 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 so by learning so, so, so skills. Click this button to watch a free presentation, and then the free presentation gives them all the information. It doesn't even mention the price upfront. So a budget of 2000 naira is okay. Now, same scenario, but push it upwards. Imagine you are selling real estate or something worth a million plus. You cannot be running out back 2000 and expect to make sales every day. It's not a miracle. As a matter of fact, I dare say, if you're selling something, for instance, like real estate worth 1.5 million, first of all, the people that can afford 1.5 million in the whole of Nigeria as a whole, they are not up to 20%. Don't deceive yourself. Now, inside of that 20%, let's, I'm giving you a rough estimate on numbers. Inside of that 20%, yes. Yeah, Instead of that 20%, not all of them is interested in buying property. So your advert now is going to go and start, you, you need to give Facebook a budget that is going to be reasonable so that every single day they can push your advert out there and look for those few people that will be interested in what it is you're selling and then get them to you. So if you don't pick anything from the example I'm giving you, the higher the value, the higher the cost of what you are selling is, the more you should be budgeting to spend for advert. I think I've done justice to that. Okay. So um, 2000 is going to be okay since we are running, we're trying to sell the one key club. And then once you're done with that, remember, always set it to daily budget. Don't use lifetime budget. Now, I said don't use lifetime budget. Let me explain why. Because I always like to explain why. So you don't say, I'm not imposing anything on you. I'm explaining why. If you use lifetime budget and you set an ad to run for 10 days, if the ad starts performing really well and you have already set it to run for 10 days, you won't be able to change that 10 days once you have published the ad and it has started running. If you try to increase the budget, you will be able to increase the budget, but it will still stop in that 10 days. And when you get an advert that is performing, you don't want to be allowing it to end, and then you restart, you, you create it again. Mm -mm. You want to have, once you have an advert that is doing really well, you want to have good control over it so that you can also increase the budget systematically. So if an advert is bringing you good business, and if you are running at 2,000 a day, and maybe you are getting 10 leads, you are getting 15 leads, and in those 15 leads, at least on average, over in the next 30 days, at least one a day buys, or two a day buys, right? So you are making profit from what you are selling. Maybe you are making about 
six thousand profit. You are making about six thousand, maybe minus what you are spending. You are making about four thousand. You can choose to increase it. But if you have already set a specified day for the advert to stop, you won't be able to do that because it will have to get to that day and stop. And then you will not set up the ad again. And the thing about ads is sometimes you can set up the exact same thing you did for the first ad and the second ad will not perform that well. So always stick to daily budget. If your money is beginning to get to where you are reaching your limit to what you can spend, you can turn it off. Please, I'm going to show you how to turn it off. Okay? So minimum budget, if you're a Nigerian, 2000 naira a day. Don't try to do anything lower than that if you intend to get tangible results. And the higher the value of what you sell, the more you should be looking to spend adverts. So you should be looking to spend. Okay? Now, on the next part, so let me go back here. So, uh, okay, I think I should actually talk about this from here. Now, when you are setting up a campaign, your campaign has three levels. The first level here, which is where we just finished setting up. And this is called the campaign level. The next level is called the ad sets level. In campaign level is where you set the campaign name, you know, you select the campaign name and then you can also select your budget here. Next, in the ad set level, in the ad set level, is where you select, you can also give your ad set a name if you want. You can also give your ad set a name. I, I, I mostly just leave it as new lead ad set. You can, but you can also give the name. For instance, if I want to run different, ah, no, let me not go there. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. Well. Let me not explain that part, right? You can always leave it at this. Then if you scroll down under conversion, under ad set, if you are, if you are under ad set for conversions, you are going to see many options. Here, it's going to tell you to select the conversion location. And then it says, select where you want to generate your leads. So for instance, if you want to generate your leads through the landing page that you use, by default, you want to select websites. If you want to generate your leads using something called a Facebook instance form, you want to select instance form. If you want to generate your leads by them chatting you up on Messenger, you use this third option. If you want them, to, if you want to generate your lead by them filling up a form, and then after they fill up that form, they will be directed to chat you up on Messenger. You use this option. If you want to gen, if you want to generate your lead by using Instagram chats, so let them chat you up on Instagram. You use this option. If you want to generate your lead by them calling you, calling a specific number, you use this option. If you want to generate your leads by then downloading your app or doing something on your app, we use this option. So for we, we are interested in using a landing page. So by default, the first option is what we use because we are using a landing page. And then from that landing page, it takes them to WhatsApp. So by default, that is going to be selected. Website is going to be selected by default, okay? Now, once you scroll down, you're going to notice something. Under that, you're going to have something called performance go. And then it has, there's a menu here. It says maximize number of conversion. It is going to be selected by default. You don't have to touch it. Now, next level is pixel. It is going to ask you, which pixel are you going to use to track for this advert that you're running? And if you remember when we went through the pixel training, I already explained how to create a pixel inside of the business manager that also has the ad account that you want to use. Now, for me, I've already created a pixel. The pixel name is SCM Biz one pixel. It has already been created, right? So I'll simply select it. If I have multiple pixels, I can select the exact one, but I have only one. So that one is selected by default. Now, on that conversion event, very important. It is going to tell you, choose a conversion event associated with your meta pixel. Now, you have selected the pixel. Choose which conversion event that you have already set up on the pixel. Now, for us, when we are setting up that pixel, we set up a lead conversion on that pixel. What do I mean? Let me go back to this. This is the landing page here that we are going to be running the ads with. This is the landing page here. One of the things we set up on this landing page is when someone clicks this button that says reserve your seat, it is going to record it. Facebook is going to record it as a lead the moment they click that button. So
So here it is telling you what is the conversion event you have set up with your pixel. So for us, we have set up a conversion event for lead. Now, if it was the case of maybe they were submitting a form, we can use complete registration. Or we can use submit an application if they were submitting an application. If they were completing a, a registration, we can use complete registration. But the easiest for lead generation that you want to use is simply lead. Just select lead. Now, when you select lead, you might get this error message that says your ad may not be optimized for conversion because we haven't received any activity from your pixel in more than seven days. You can ignore it when you know that your pixel conversion is properly okay. Just ignore it. What this thing is saying is in the last seven days, your pixel has not shown any conversion. And that is because I haven't run any ads in the last, I haven't run any ads for the 1K club in over a month. So obviously there is no activity on the pixel, but the pixel has been properly set up and I can see that from the Facebook pixel helper. I already showed you how to see that. So once you select your conversion event as lead, you scroll down, you scroll down. Now, uh, cost per result, you're not going to be able to touch that. Just leave it the way it is. Leave that the way it is. Dynamic creative, leave that the way it is. And then here you also have something called budget and schedule. You have something called budget and schedule. Now, on that budget and schedule here is where you are going to be. You are also, you are also going. You, you can also set the the schedule if you want your ads to run and stop. If you want your ads to run and stop. Now, because you have already set uh, our budget on the uh, campaign level, it is not going to tell us to set a budget on the uh, on the ad set level, but it is going to tell us to select a schedule. When do you want your ads to start running from? So. Even though I'm setting up this ad now, I can say, okay, Facebook, I want this ad to start on Saturday, which is the 14th. And then I'm going to say, I want it to start 4 a.m. 4.05 a.m. So even though I'm setting up this advert now, I don't want it to run until Saturday, 4 a.m. in the morning. Right? So I'm able to select where I want it to start. Now, by default, if you want your ads to start running the moment they approve it, because it's not once you set up your ads that the ads will start running. Once you are done setting up your ad, it is going to go, sorry, it's going to go into something called the Facebook ads review process. They are going to check your ads, check if it is in line with their policies, check a lot of things. And if your advert account is new, those checks usually can take up to 24 hours and even in some rare cases, 48 hours for the checks to be completed. Okay? So by default, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me well. By default, just leave the start date the way it is when you are just running ads. Because it's not the, even if you select tomorrow morning, okay, it's right now, the time is uh, past 10. If I select, tomorrow 4 a.m. If that's tomorrow 4 a.m., my advert has not been reviewed completely. It won't still start running until when they finish reviewing it. But the moment they finish reviewing it and it is accepted, if the time that you set has already passed, the advert will start running immediately. So for you, on that start date, you necessarily don't have to set any date. Just leave it the way it is. Leave it the way it is, right? I already changed this one. Just leave it the way it is. Why am I saying you should leave it the way it is? Because if you leave it the way it is, it means the moment your advert is approved, it will start running immediately. The moment you complete it, it goes into review. The moment it is approved, it will start running immediately. All right? And then for schedule, you can also select an end date here. What day do you want it to stop? But I already explained why it is not good for you to set an end date in our previous training. Okay? That is with budget and schedule. Next stop. We have, sorry, one moment. We have audience control. We have audience control. We have audience control. Now, under audience control, it says set the criteria for where you want your ads to be delivered. Set the criteria for where you want your ads to be delivered. Now, this is under where you tell Facebook 
this and this are the kind of people I want to show my advert to. I want people that meet this criteria. I want people that match this criteria. For instance, if you are selling a location-based product, and even though you're in Nigeria, if you want to target only people living in Lagos, under audience and control, under locations, you edit it, and then you delete Nigeria. And then you'll be able to enter the specific location you want. Now, how specific can you get? You can be very specific. You can be as specific as to a place inside Lagos. So if you're in Lagos, you can see you want to target only Ikeja. That's how specific it is. You can say you want to target only Lagos as a state, only Abuja as a Abuja as a state. Abuja as a state, but or only Abuja as a state, for instance, or Kotakos as a state, or Anambra as a state, or or Ibadan, or your state, or your state, or Ibadan is on or your state. You can you can decide to target Ibadan. You can target you can decide to target only the capital of the state where you feel. That is where you need to reach more people that are likely to buy what you sell. So for us, we are selling the 1K Club, right? 1K Club is basically um, a digital product. So we are not exactly location-based. So we can leave it as Nigeria for us. So once you start typing here, you are going to see your country. For instance, if I try to run it for Ghana, if I try to select Ghana, I'm able to select Ghana as a country. If I try to select a particular place in Ghana, for instance, I try to select Tema. Tema, uh, it's a region, you see? Uh, it's a region in Ghana. Or if I try to select the capital of Ghana, Accra, uh, it's going to bring up Accra, and it tells you Accra is a city. Accra, Geta region, Accra, right? In Nigeria, for instance, if I try to run it only Ikeja, I can select Ikeja. See, Ikeja, Lagos State. Ikeja in Lagos State is city. I can select Ikeja, right? If I try to run it to, um, so one moment, only Lekki, right? I can target Lekki Peninsula. I can target Lekki Beach Road. You can target even specific. In fact, you can target as high as a specific estate that is wide enough to show up on the map. For instance, uh, let's try uh, VGC. VGC Lekki, VGC Lekki Aja, VGC Aja Lagos. You can target as high as to a specific location. However, keep something in mind. The smaller the place you are targeting is and the smaller number of people that is going to be there, the more expensive your advert is going to be. The more smaller location you are targeting and the more smaller people you are targeting, the more expensive your advert is going to be. If we target the whole of Lagos, we are talking about millions of people. Now, if I bring that down and be specific and say I'm targeting only Ikeja, that number drops from millions in the whole of Lagos to something drastically low. To something drastically low. Okay? So, for us, we are selling a digital product and it's not location-based. So we are going to select Nigeria and as a country or region, and we are going to leave it as that. See, the whole Nigeria is selected right now. And by the way, you can choose to select Nigeria, and you can still choose to exclude certain states if you don't want them. So Nigeria is selected here, and, and then I'll come here under this part that says include, I'll tap on it, and then I'll click on add exclusions. So what do I see? whole of Nigeria, but for instance, I want to remove Lagos. See, red part, this red part now covering here. I said, I'm targeting the whole of Nigeria, but I want to exclude Lagos. I want to exclude all your states. I want to exclude all your states. So notice what is happening here. As I'm, as I'm doing all those things on the map, it is showing. The map is showing, this is the map of Nigeria. Let me zoom in a bit, sorry. This is the map of Nigeria here. I just excluded Lagos. That's why you can see there's this red mark. I just excluded all your states. That's why you can see there's this red mark, right? If I, if I, which state now is very big now that if I exclude it to show very well. 
Oh, the state is very big. The other state I'm excluding is small. Uh -huh. Let's exclude Kanu. I just want to give you an example on the map. Okay, I'm going to exclude Kanu. Hey. Kanu state. Uh -huh. Kanu state, Nigeria. Yo, wow. uh -huh. see, this is Kanu. You can see I'm, I'm running the apps to the whole of Nigeria, but I'm, I'm excluding Kanu. So you can also choose to exclude specific places. So for instance, and it's not just, uh, it's just, it's not just um, country-wise, it's not just states. I can choose Lagos and then exclude some certain areas in Lagos. Now, where you are going to need to be that specific is mostly where you have a physical business, right, that you're running ads for, and or a business where your delivery is location-based. That is where you're going to need to be this specific in what I'm showing you right here, okay? So I'm just going to leave it as Nigeria. Now I'm going to scroll, scroll down, and then I'm going to go up. Uh, I'm going to click on show more options. Next up, age. Age. What age do you want? What, what, what is the age that you want it to show to? What is the minimum age that you want this advert to show to? And then you can click on edit. Now, the Facebook system has generally changed a lot because before you, you used to be able to set beginning and ending, age range, right? By default, 18 is the minimum age. Now, if you're running a product like 1K Club, I've noticed that even though you can leave it at 18, especially when you're running a product that is above 10,000, you don't want to start at 18. Now, why don't you want to start at 18? First of all, most people using Facebook. Some people using Facebook, let me not use the word most people. Some people using Facebook did not use their exact age. So you have kids using Facebook, which on a norm, they are not supposed to be able to use Facebook because you need to be 18 to use Facebook. But who cares? People like us, we started using Facebook from when we were how old? We are far from it, and we're already using Facebook. And it was not just us. There were so many people like that. We had friends. We had classmates. Everybody was on Facebook. We are not supposed to be on Facebook at that age. Even if you're going to be on Facebook at that age, there's a version of Facebook for kids that has a lot of very strict restrictions, so you don't stumble into some kind of content. But a lot of us, we're already using Facebook at a very young age. So by default, when you're running a program to sell a course, I don't like leaving the age at 18. I like to push it up. If the product I'm selling is something that is over 20,000, I usually start at 25 for the age. Now, it does not mean what you are setting is 100% accurate. You will still get people that are coming from the ads that are younger. This information is not 100% accurate. Please keep this in mind. It's not 100% accurate, but it is going to cover most of the people that is going to see your ad because Facebook has this data. They can tell how old most of their users are because everyone was required to fill their age, their date of birth to sign up on Facebook. It's a compulsory requirement. Okay, so you are able to set what is the minimum age you want to see your property. Now, I'm just going to give you a wide, a very wide spectrum. If you are selling something under 5K, in Nigeria, a digital cost under 5K, under 10K, you necessarily don't have to touch the minimum age. Because if there's 18, they can definitely have, afford 10,000. They can afford, let me know the word definitely. They can afford 10,000 if they are interested and they match the people you are trying to reach. Because believe it or not, not every 18-year-old and above is your customer. Okay? They can, people want, at the minimum age of 18 can still afford a 10,000 hour program or know their parents that can afford to pay for them, or have friends, or have uncles and aunties that can pay for them, and so on, and above, right? So you don't necessarily have to touch the minimum age. Now, if the product you're selling grows from that thank you, and it's now becoming 20,000, 30,000, minimum wage, and above, I like to start the minimum age at 25. I like to start the minimum age of at 25 because that is now the age range of people that are likely to be able to afford it because when you start going up in price in what you're selling, the percentage of people that can actually afford it decreases rapidly. 
the percentage of people that can afford it decreases rapidly, right? So minimum age 18 is okay for what we are selling. Now, languages, you can set it or you can leave it, but by default, I like to enter languages and I just like to type in English because if what you're selling is in English, English, just search for English and select English or as much as you want to sell something, you have to understand that at least let your adverts show to people that understand what it is you're saying. And if what you're saying in the video is in English, if what you're saying the write up is in English, why on earth is your advert showing to people who are using a Yoruba version of Facebook? You know you can change your location on Facebook, on Instagram, you can change it to Yoruba, you can change it to Igbo, you can change it to AOSA, right? So you can change your location. So if what you're selling is based in English, you want to steal other languages, just select English or. So let them show it to people that are using English. Let them show it to people that are using their apps in English, people that at least can understand English. Very important stuff, right? Now, advantage audience, right? It says, now, advantage audience. Facebook, first of all, has changed quite a lot of things for people who do not know. Before, this part that says audience controls is usually audience targeting. And under this part is where you are going to be able to enter the location or that you want to target. Enter the age range before you could enter age range. So you will not just select 18. You could select age range of from 18 to 65 plus. Or you could select age range from 18 to 40. But a lot of things have changed on Facebook. A lot of things have changed on Facebook. That's why I was telling someone. The thing with Facebook is they are always updating. Things are always changing. Someone brought it to my notice that even the pixel training that we had, they changed where you are going to click on the pixel from. So we are even going to have to update that training. So things are always changing on Facebook, but do not panic. Once you understand the underlying process, it is going to be easier for you to adapt to most of those changes because they are usually not very significant in most cases. It's just a little thing here, a little thing there. They'll move something from where it used to be. They'll move it to somewhere else. Before, if you are regular with running ads, you would notice that this place don't look like this. This audience control now, and then this one that is saying advantage plus audience. Before, you are going to be able to have a place where you can select the audiences you want, select what they are interested in, select some of the behaviors that they make. You are going to be able to set the age range and everything from here under audience targeting. But now they have changed it to um, audience controls and then advantage plus audience. Now we have set uh, we have we have set up correctly audience control. We have set the location. We have set the the uh, minimum age. Exclude uh, for this part that says exclude custom audiences. Just leave it the way it is. Just uh, leave it the way it is. You don't. It, it, uh, this is for a more um, how do I use it? This is for when you have actually started running ads for a while. There's something called custom audiences, but it's like it's more advanced version of Facebook. We are not going to touch base on that. So just leave this the way it is. You select your location, you select your minimum age, you select language, and you set it to English, and then you scroll down. Now, on this next part that says advantage plus audience, it says our ad technology automatically finds your audience. Now, Two years ago, or three years ago, let me see, let me not go too far. As of 2021, if you wanted to run at 2020, 20, uh, 2018, 2019, 20, uh, 2017, 2016, 2015, if you wanted to run ads then, when you set up your ads, you still had to give Facebook interest to target. So you had to tell Facebook, eh, I want to target people interested in entrepreneurship. I wanted, I want to target people interested in starting a business. I want to target people interested in home business. I want to target people interested in making more money. A couple of years back, you had to add those interesting, those interests to your targets. But something funny has happened over time. Over time, the Facebook system has improved. The algorithm has improved. I was telling Victor this thing. I, I told him, I said, Nowadays, if you want to set up your ad, you don't have to think about who are you going to target. Just know where are they located. 
what are the age range? As a matter of fact, you see they have even changed age range. What is the minimum age? Then, once you have those two information, you are literally good to go. Why? Because depending on how you set up your ad, your message should be able to do the targeting. And once you start running that ad and people start clicking and people start converting to leads, the algorithm is going to start taking note of what do these people that are clicking, that are converting to leads, what do they have in, what, do, what, what is unique about them? And it's going to take that information and find other people on Facebook that match those certain unique abilities that those people have. Let, let me break that English down. If you are trying to sell the one key club, the whole concept is you're talking about how they can make dollars from, uh, how they can make dollars for instance, from Nigeria, maybe using the airdrop farming, using the Amazon KDP, right? So you're talking about extra income. Now, before you might have to select people interested in making more money, people interested in doing this, people interested in doing that under the targeting option. But now a lot of that option has actually changed. You don't have to go and start selecting people doing this, people doing this, people doing this. Just make sure that your advert creative, which you are going to create, if it is a video, make sure it is speaking to the people that you, that you make sure it is speaking directly to your potential audience, not everybody. So for instance, you stumble on an advert. Okay, how do I explain this? Let's say you're interested in traveling abroad. And then you're going about your normal day on Instagram, on Facebook, right? You see an advert and what does that advert say? Attention to all those who want to study abroad. Here are some few things that you need to avoid if you, are, if you plan on studying abroad. And here is a free ebook on some list of things you can avoid. And some of them include this, 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 this. If you would like to learn more, click the learn more button below to get all this information. What do you think is going to happen when someone that sees, that is interested in traveling abroad, sees that advert? they are going to click on it, right? They're going to click on it. If that same advert shows to someone that does not even have any interest in traveling abroad, what do you think they're going to do? What do you think they're going to do? They're simply going to scroll past, right? They're simply going to scroll past. Sorry, one moment. Why am I getting a call? Why am I getting a call by 1041? Okay, sorry. They're simply going to scroll past. Sorry, I, got, I was having a call. They're simply going to scroll past. Now, Facebook is going to take note that they showed this advert to this category of people. But surprisingly, they scrolled past. So the algorithm has actually gotten wise to the point where it will not say, okay, it's like this set of people are not interested. And then they will not start pushing it to the people who are showing more interest and those categories of people that are like them that are showing more interest. So. What I'm trying to say is, sometimes for those of you who have run ads, and maybe you have come to me or come to maybe Victor or anybody and say, okay, I'm running ads, but the advert is not working. Eh, the advert is not working. Something is off. Something is off. Something is off. Right? We usually tell you that if you start running an advert, give it at least 48 hours. Give it at least 48 hours. Uh, dropping a message for the person that is calling called Swipe. All right. We usually tell you that when you start running an advert, your advert might not kick off immediately. Now, the reason for that is in the first couple of hours, the algorithm is still trying to check your advert and then match it with people who are likely to be interested. So when you start running an advert, it might not start getting you good results immediately. It does not mean that the advert that you are running is bad. It does not mean that the advert that you are running is bad. You might need to, there are adverts that you can start running now. And then for the first two days, it is going to perform poorly. And then from the third day, it is now going to pick up and start performing well. Some of them from the second day, it is not going to pick up and start performing well. Why is it all of a sudden performing well after a couple of days? The algorithm has spread the advert to a lot of people. They have taken note of those who seem to be interested. And how does the algorithm know people that are interested? People that they even stop and listen to the video. 
from what he says from the beginning to the end. Those ones have shown you some bit of interest. People that actually read your copy, the write-up, the caption that comes with the image that you put there from the beginning to the end, it shows that those ones are kind of interested. So it now starts to duplicate and say, okay, how can we find, let us push this advert to people that are showing more interest, those categories of people that are showing more interest. So it begins to show your advert to the category of people that are showing more interest. Right? So nowadays, and this particular method of targeting is called zero targeting. You don't have to bother about interest. Or it's called zero targeting or broad targeting. So if you have taken Facebook ads training before, somewhere, somehow, you must have heard someone, maybe your, uh, your, the person taking the training mentioned something about broad targeting or zero targeting. That is what it used to be called a few years ago. And a lot of people did not used to advise you to do it. Then they will tell you, uh, don't do, don't do that kind of thing. They will tell you, uh, make sure you target. For instance, if you are running luxury product, they will tell they will tell you target a cool hotel, eh? target where you know the big men will be. But now the algorithm has changed to a point where once your message matches what those categ those category of people, if there are people that buy luxury, once it matches those the message that captures the attention of people who buy luxury. You don't have to tell Facebook that go and find them in a cool hotel. Facebook is going to find those category of people wherever they are and show your adverts to them in as much as you have a good budget and, you have, you, and your advert is active. Okay, so that is on target and keep that in mind. So unlike before where you have to worry your head about, hey, who am I going to target? Who are the likely people going to buy my uh, products? Just you know the people who are likely to buy your products. For instance, for the one key club, most of the people interested in the one key club have one thing in common. They want to make more income for themselves. Simple and short, but plenty English. Now, even though they want to make more income for themselves, we know that it's not everybody that can still use this course. Why? The people who want to make more income for themselves also need to have a smartphone. They also need to have access to internet. They also need to have data connection. So if those people first of all are rolling on Facebook and they're scrolling Facebook and Instagram, they most likely have data. They most likely have a smartphone. Now, if they are interested in making more money, it doesn't end there. They might be interested in making more money, but it might not be through the online way. And maybe even the money you are calling is not in the money they are raised that they are looking for. Someone that is looking for 100 million and someone that is looking for 1 million, they are not in the same level. So the fact that you are still trying to teach people that want to make money, you have to understand that it's in classes. And if you say you want to teach them how to make, even if it's $500 a month, you have to still know that there are some people that that $500, their mind cannot comprehend it. So they will not even click your ad. And then there are some people that if you mention $500, it's like an insult to them. So they will not click your ad. But why you need to know that part is, you want to know the people you want to focus on in your message. So if you're creating an advert video, a video for advert, you know the people you want to focus on. So that when those people you want to focus on stumble on your video, they know that this video is for me. Let me hear what this person is about to say. If they stumble on the image you use, they know that, ah, this image is for me. For instance, if you're trying to reach the normal generation and you say something like, the younger generation that are active online, and you say that with this opportunity I'm about to show you, Sapa will leave you and run away. A lot of them will immediately know what you're talking about. Now, if you are here and you don't even know what Sapa is, it means that advert is not going to be, that advert is not going to be in your, for people in your category. So is there anybody following me? Please type one, one, one. If you are following me, put one, one, one in the chat. See, we have not set up the ads. We have gone two hours. If you can still hear me, please type 111. Thank you, Mr. Fitz. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Julius. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victor. So, so nowadays, the algorithm has grown to a point where it is your copy and the creative, either the image or the video that you are using, that needs to do the targeting. And I'm not telling you this thing from brain knowledge. I'm telling you this thing from what I've tried. I've spent money on it, right? 
I know what I know what it is running at three years ago and running at now. A lot of things has actually changed. It has the, the Facebook system itself has improved. You don't have to know all the whole details to run the ads. Just give Facebook enough. Just give Facebook the basics. The algorithm will take that basics and push it out there and go and do the whole work to find people that are going to be around that category that will be interested in that advert that I put out there and that are likely to convert. And then they are going to make him money. So even though I want to continue this ad, I have a call that's coming and I have to take that call, right? But let me, let's end the session here. But I'm going to end it with uh, something I want to see. So nowadays, if your advert is not performing, it's usually not a case of targeting. If you set up an advert, I'm just dropping this message because I know some people here have tried to run ads before. If you set up an advert and it is not converting, it necessarily might not be your targeting. You know, some people will be worried, maybe I'm not targeting people that have money. Mm -mm. The way Facebook is now, the way Instagram is now, it is not about targeting people that have money. It is about the message that you are putting out there. What category of people is it attracting? Let me give you a very short example. 2021, I ran an advert. There was this, Victor I remember, there was this um, screenshot that Mr. Sam did. Then it was LAP, not Ziba. He did a screenshot of his dashboard. On his dashboard, it was showing a couple of millions. If I'm not mistaken, over 13 million. In available balance, over 13 to 15 million. He did a video and said, see money where people they make online, you know, and you see they play. You are still playing. See the money that people are making online and you are still playing. Just look at how much is showing here, a couple of millions, he called it. I used that a uh hand, -huh, thank you. I think I feel you know that video, he said over 10 million. This is an assessment. I used that video to run ads. Eh? And all I noticed was I was getting fraud stars coming into my DM. What do I mean? They were in Nigeria, but they were basically Yahoo boys. Now, you, you might be wondering, how did I know the DVD are all boys? All of them was coming into my DM with fake profile picture. You will see Pablo. <laughs> and then you are not seeing a white girl's picture on the profile. I just started noticing that it's not that I didn't get with the people, but at least I got one or two with people. But for like one disabled person I got, I got like, 10 different fraud stars. Why? That was a message that enticed them. I did, I, I did run that ad for up to a week. I had to stop it. I said, no, something is wrong. Because this type of people I'm getting, these ones are not here to work. They're not here to come and hear you, follow you here, learn skills, and then put the skills to use. This one are here for sharp, sharp money. They are seeing millions. They want to pack the millions as quick as possible. You don't want to go come. You cannot tell these ones to learn skills. So I had to stop that advert. Now, what am I saying? I put out a message, although the message was not created by me, but I ran an advert with a message. And the base model of that message was, I'm going to come see how they cash out now, quick, quick. So it started attracting people who were interested in quick, quick cash out. And me, I was not doing quick, quick cash out because we are wanting quick, quick cash out now. I was not scamming anybody. So I had to change the message. I have to stop that advert and then set up something different. And I told Victor, I don't, I'm not going to use this video again. I, I thought it was a joke. I thought maybe something was wrong. I tried it again the second time. The same thing happened. Now I say, ah, there's obviously something with the video. Now the video was okay. For we that were already on the platform, it was quite motivating to see that someone could make this much money on the platform. But for people that were outside, for strangers, people that did not even know what the platform was about, it was a bad message to put out there. Now, this is the same way you have some affiliate marketing companies in Nigeria from time to time also do things like sales challenges. The highest qualifiers, they take them on all expense pay trip. They take them or they give them a car award. Now, when you create a story or one of those, one of those qualifiers create a story around where they were before and where they were now, a lot of people are going to be able to relate it with it. Let me round up. 
if you are trying to sell the one key club, you are most likely trying to sell to people who are struggling financially. What do I mean struggling financially? These are people in most cases, majority of them cannot boast of a consistent 100,000 naira a month in Nigeria. That's the honest truth. Right? So you have to come down to the level and speak a message that is going to resonate at least with a huge number of people in that level. You can't want to sell something, for instance, uh, say I'm selling a property now, a land I'm selling for 30 million. I'm not going to be speaking at the level of someone who is trying to sell one key club to people who are any less than 100k a month. I am now trying to speak at the level of someone who 5 million is not their problem. 10 million is not their problem. As a matter of fact, they are going to be able to buy the property I'm about to sell for 30 million and it's not going to be all the money that they have in this life. So you see that the message is different. I'm just giving you an abstract example. Same thing applies if you are trying to sell the number 2.5 million. The message of 2.5 million and someone that you're trying to come and make money with the 1K club that is even selling a let's say 20K is going to be different from the message you're giving someone of 1.5 that you're, you're trying to sell a property of 1.5 million. So with the current Facebook, your message is what is going to do your targeting. Your message is what is going to do your targeting. Know who you want to reach. The moment you know who you want to reach, it's going to be easier for you to create a message, put out there, give the Facebook algorithm, use a reasonable budget, give the Facebook algorithm time, and they are going to go and find you, your customer, especially when your customers are large. See, the reason why make money products will always keep selling in Nigeria is there is hunger in the land. Believe it or not, we are a third world country. Most African countries are third world countries. We don't have to start uh, talking this thing nicely. A lot of people are going through a lot. As a matter of fact, <laughs> there was a short video I posted on my status recently, and the guy said it in video. He said, some people are saying that they are going through a lot. But if he explains what he's going through, that he's staying in two bedrooms, that is him and a lot that is staying, that a lot has one room in his two bedroom. That if he comes out in the morning, he will see a lot. That if he goes to work and come back in his parlor, a lot will be in the parlor watching uh, TV and will be giving him bad eye. So case in point is a lot of people are going through a lot. Right? So we have a very large number of people who want to make more, who want to do better. So make money products will sell. So when you're talking to those people, you talk to them, message that will hit them at home, right? It, it, it is a very different case from someone who is about to buy something from you worth millions. So your message is your targeting. All right, uh, I'd like to continue this training, guys, but we'll have to end it here. We've already gotten close to far. So we start, we'll do the part two tomorrow of actually running the ads and I'll try not to talk a lot. But again, the reason why I'm explaining this thing is so that questions will not be plenty once we actually run the ads. Thank you very much for staying up until this point. Any questions? Questions, questions, questions. You can raise your hand, you can type it in the chat. Uh, 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 we will take the questions shortly. I know, I know some people would have probably slept, but they have uh, lectures for tomorrow. Questions, please. Thank you. Thank you, Zion. Thank you, Zion. Thank you. Okay. I have Mr. Julius raising up his hand. I think Mr. Julius has business. In I have Mr. Deola raising up a hand. Okay, Mr. Julius, you can speak. You can unmute yourself and speak, please. Uh, good evening, sir. All right, good evening, sir. Um, in the area of the budgeting, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you said we should not just put a lot of money. And when you, when you were explaining, you said our budget, our budgeting depends on the on the on the product amounts that we are selling. Exactly. So, uh, so I don't know if if we should if we are advised not to put a lot. And now we are saying we should put a lot because of the amount of uh, of products. 
Uh, can you just please throw more lights to that? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, I'm not advising to put a lot. I said your budget is going to be largely dependent on what it is you are selling. Now, if you are selling a product like the One K Club, your minimum budget should be two thousand a day. That is going to be okay as a minimum budget for you to start okay. with. But of course, okay. as you start getting results and as you start getting some profit and as you start trying to put back both of these profits into the advert, you can scale that amount. You can get to the point where you are doing 10k a day. You can get to the point where you are doing 20k a day. Once you have a system that is working, you don't start at 30k a day, 10k a day, when you don't have a system that is working. Okay. So you start your budget at something at like 2,000. You test whether the advert is working. You see, okay, how much am I making? You run it for a period of time. You do your analysis. How many leads did I get? How many of them bought in this social period? So when we are going to talk about conversion on leads and all these kind of things, you cross-check those figures and then you plus, okay, how much did I spend on advert? How much have I made at the end of this 30 day period? Because you're actually running a business. And then once you see that your system has got to a point where it's profitable, you are getting the amount you are spending on adverts, you are getting profit, you can now decide that, okay, let me start scaling it this like this. So let me move my budget. Maybe let me move it to 3,000 days. And then once you see that things are going well, you can move it to 4,000 days. I only said that your budget is going to be determined by what it is you are selling. If you are selling a product, for instance, now 50,000, so key budget might not really make you anything tangible. You can run yeah. for a few weeks and you might not yeah. sell. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, then if I you're going to for something worth more than that, uh -huh, you have to understand that you can't be running on 2K budget and expect a miracle to happen. Because your yeah. reach is going to be determined by how much you do things to spend. Okay, yeah. okay right. so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, please, what, what, just one more. Now, how do we really add or top up our, our budget? Say, for instance, now, you know, I think we are told if we want to add to our budget, it shouldn't be 100%. Uh, it should be okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe a half. Your budget? If, yes, your advert, exactly. if, your, if your advert account is new and you're about to set up your ad, just add 100 naira. Okay. Add 100 naira. Then set up the advert. And then... Once you set up the advert, I told you review time is usually under 24 hours. Sometimes it might get to 48 hours. Then check the advert for when it is approved. Now, the moment you get a notification, because they will send you a notification on your Facebook itself once it is approved. Okay. The moment you get a notification, or if you download the Meta Ad app, which I'll also show you, the moment you get a notification that your advert has been approved, you can now go and add your budget. Okay. And then, when you want to add your budget, don't add budget for a long time. So, you can start with budget of three days or two days. Then, once that one finish, you add because it is better you allow to finish it or you'll be monitoring it once you want to finish your ad than for you to add all the money. Okay. For instance, now that's your Facebook account, which was one, one of the ones you are supposed to use. It has been permanently restricted and you don't have a backup admin inside of it. So it means that 10,000 that you loaded there, you cannot retrieve it. You can't collect it back. You can't tell your bank to help you and send it back. It has been added to the other account and now it has been permanently restricted. So the money is good. That, that is one of the disadvantages of this retail. If it was posted, that would not happen. But I already told you the disadvantage of posting, and that one outweighs it outweighs any ad, any advantage that you can come with. So for prepaid, don't load money for a long period of time. Now, once you start running as consistently, hmm? once you start running as consistently, and you have backup, and your ads are getting approved regularly, and you, you are not getting your ads rejected, you can start putting more budget. And forgetting about it because even as I'm still telling you this thing, I know people that what am I saying? This one I'm saying, I know people that are making me start to do something. Even me myself, I used to load 100 keys inside the advert account. Sometimes I load more, but I don't do it on new advert accounts. 
I do it on advert account that I have history. Advert account that I've been running as for. My ads have been continuously running. As they have not been getting rejected. I've not been getting a lot of red flags on my account. So, but as you are starting now, you just progress bit by bit. You saw when I checked when I checked my other advert account. I I did remember I loaded 10k there and I forgot about it. 10k there I spent three months. Now, if it was a new advert account, I most likely would not just do 10k. Unless if I'm running an advert that is spending 5k there and I know that that 10k will finish in two days, I will load it. Now, the more I start spending, the more I'm spending on the advert account, the more I'm running ads that are not getting rejected. I will start having more confidence. And the confidence is not even just because I'm running ads that will not get rejected. The confidence is because I have back. So, so for, for there's one of my other accounts I'm using to run as currently, right, in the real estate uh, industry. I have like two backups connected. So if, so if they disable it, I use the account and request a review, they disable it. I have two other options to still request a review with. So my money is not just going to fly through the same air. So that's why I say for prepaid, put your money bit by bit. Now, once you have backup set up, you necessarily don't have to bother. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, it's fine. If you have already loaded more than three thousand, three thousand is not a big deal. Once you start running your, uh, once you, you, I'm just saying, to be on the safe side, load up right now. So I've loaded three thousand. You don't have to panic, especially if you already have the backup connected to your account. All you simply need to do, progress, set up your advert, two K D, put it into review. If it gets approved, you know, spend four hours. If you spend two thousand plus. It will spend 2,000 plus, and then you have less than 1,000 left. Okay? Yes. So, no, this one is someone that is asking a question in the chat. So, Mr. Julius, okay. you can, yeah, you can stop raising up your hand and help us mute yourself. Okay. Now, Adiola is saying, Adiola is saying, Adiola is asking a question here. She said, someone once told me that as a beginner with running ads, I need to set up, I need to test run my Facebook page for like two days to three days with like 500 now before eventually running the ads. Is that necessary? No. Three years ago, four years ago, that would have been necessary. But if you are starting a budget with like 2K, that's already test one in another account. See, what most people don't understand is what we do in third world countries is literally a joke compared to what they do in first world countries. In first world countries, if they tell you they want to warm an ad account, so you will hear them tell you that they are spending $50 a day. Do you know how much $50 a day? That's like 50k. That's what, and this is the same Facebook that is literally built in the first world country. And they are, to them, that is, they are warming their ad account up. They are spending like 50k a day for like three days. And then after that, they will scale it up $100, $200, $300, depending on how big the brand is $1,000 a day, $20,000 a day. Someone's entire, so, someone's entire marketing budget in five years. That's what some brands will spend in a day on adverts. And that's because we have the system and they're making their money back. So you don't have to test your ad account run like, mm -mm, just set up the normal conversion ads. Time the, 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 those periods, those periods have passed. And that's the thing about Facebook. You have to actually be up to date. You have to be up to date. If you go and be using there are some people now that they were done, they were really done in Facebook ads three years ago, like they were really good at it. If they have not run ads three years ago to now, if they tell you any advice, take it with a grain of salt. Because if they enter the Facebook, if they enter the Facebook ads manager, it will first be like a country they have never visited before. A lot of things would have changed. The way a lot of things operate would have changed. So someone that is teaching you has to be current. Not I know I'm before. I know I'm now and I see they do I'm now. So what about 3K daily? Mr. Chimo, I said 2,000 is the minimum. Minimum, minimum. It means if you want to do hundred thousand, you have a system that is working a day. You can do it. Two thousand is the minimum, not uh, maximum. So if you want to do anything above that, it's okay. Any other questions, please, before I hand over to Victor to end this meeting, and I make my call. So we are continuing the part two tomorrow. We, are, we stopped. Uh, we stopped on the asset level under advantage audience. In fact, let me even tell you guys the secret.
I think Mr. Justin must have been thrown out of the call by network. I don't know. I really don't know why. But I guess that concludes tonight's session. So there are no other questions, right? If you have any questions left, you can ask now. You can ask, ask, ask. How many of us go by it tonight? Did we get value tonight? The background is very noisy because um, the there's rain. Rain is falling there, so apologies for that. It seems it was only Zion that got value. I'll be the rest of us were sleeping. Okay, Mr. Justin is back. Yeah, it's very, yeah, very sorry about that. I, I, I think I mistakenly closed the tab, the meeting engine. Let me clear it or something. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to an end of tonight's uh, session. So, if you have any, I think I've, I've got all the questions. Yes, yes, yes. I've, I've yeah, you got the question, but you were about to say something. You were about to say something before mm -hmm. you just left. So, I said, I still ran ads. I still ran ads last month. And you see this new option that I'm seeing for Advantage Plus um, audience. I never seen them before. I'm just seeing it for the first time today. So I don't know, Victor. Have you seen it before now? Yeah, I've been seeing it too. But surprisingly, uh, some of the things on your own end there is different. Like the the way it is on your end is not the same way it is on my end. But no, wow. all those all those names, all these that Advantage Plus. The audience, you know, before you can target them, this guy can you can, you can choose uh, um, people living in this location or people uh, recently in this location. All those, all those things they don't go finish. Facebook, so. Facebook now you made. You know, the, the, way they usually, <laughs> the way they usually ship updates is some accounts, some accounts get updates before some others. So there are some people now that if they log in, you see, see that very old interface. And yeah, exactly. Target, they will still be able to select certain things, but this one is looking like a new interface that they have shipped on board. So we are already teaching from the current perspective. So even this advantage plus now, I have to come and look at how do you put audience suggestion. I think they have changed that interest to audience suggestion. So I'm just seeing this for the first time. I still run ads. I didn't see this, but anyway, we we are here for the changes. We already once you understand the dynamic. Once you understand the baseline, once you have baseline understanding of what we are doing, even if they turn everything upside down, you would know what to do. Once you have a baseline understanding of what we are doing, that's why I said all the things we have been doing, the whole point of me to do not this plenty talking, teaching multiple hours. We have done more than we have done more than 24 hours of this training. If we, if we actually check all of it, we have done more than 24 hours of this training, and we have actually not even run the ads. It's so that you understand the baseline. Me, I'm not of the opinion of showing someone something and then you come back and say, me, please run it for me. I'm going to show you so that if you actually take your time to follow what I'm showing you, you yourself, you would understand what I'm showing you and you'll be able to go ahead and experiment for yourself and even teach other people from what I'm showing you. We can conclude this whole training in under two hours. You just see me moving like, you just see me moving very fast. This is how you create this one. Uh, after I create this one, we go. I would have created everything. I won't come and be creating it on the whole call. Uh -huh. This is how you do this one. You put this one here. You put this one here. You put this one here. Then after call, I will come be like special guest for the event. You know when you're having the training and you invite a special guest and they are speaking for just one hour. You can't let Facebook ads in one hour. <laughs> it's not, you can't let Facebook see. There are some people that they have attended Facebook training and they came out more confused than they were before they attended the training. And that's because everything that was done there was just quick, 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 quick set up and everything. Do you tell you, thank you for coming. If, if not, of course you buy, thank you, your money is done. Hey, so that's, that's just that. So really hope I've been able to um, just share and really impact, uh, impact, impact you tonight with something. So Victor, you can uh, round up the meeting. Let me see if I can see it back on. All right, thank you so much, sir, for tonight's session. So I believe we are going, uh, we are going to continue tomorrow, same time.
Yes, tomorrow is Friday. Yes, we are continuing same time tomorrow. All right, same time, 9 p.m. tomorrow. So I don't know why the turn up for this period has been really, really, really little. But anyhow, <laughs> good. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> when we finish it, we definitely brush up the whole replace for everybody. And then for the people that have mind to go through at least 24 hours of training, they will go through it. And then you definitely cannot go to the training and come out the same. When you go yeah, to the exactly. training, you won't see, you haven't um, really learned something that is going to be worth your while. Because this same thing I'm teaching you is what big brands, when you understand this thing, you can literally run ads for big brands. You see this step-by-step -step process I've been teaching you, I use the same kind of process when I want to run out for real estate to sell properties worth millions. It's not, a, it's not just limited to selling 1K club. That's why you have to understand the underlying principle. Once you understand the underlying principle, every other thing, simple stuff, is bought up. You'll be able to crush it. So uh, that's that. Over to you, Victor. You can end it. All right. So we continue tomorrow, guys. Same time, 9 p.m. Okay. Um, that will be all for tonight. I hope we did get value. I hope we get value. I hope we got value. Please and please and please and please and please, you watch this session and make sure you digest every information that has been shared with you. It like becomes part of you, especially the aspect of not funding. <laughs> Especially the aspect of not funding huge amounts. I think Mr. Justin touched that part. Not funding huge amounts. Me and Facebook are really like this. We are like, I'm, I'm following them tip to tip. <laughs> little by little. If you go to this guy, you fund bulk amount on your on your other account, and Facebook serves you breakfast. What did I used to call it? <laughs> oh, Tilo, the money is gone. It's gone. So monitor your hearts. You stick it to the part of monitoring your hearts. I think we'll do that tomorrow. Monitor your hearts and um, keep topping it up, topping it up as it begins to reduce. Okay, because Mr. Justin, yeah, it's like his own mistakes, his own experience <laughs> were lessons to me because I've like literally been part of his whole journey of you know running hard bats. I've seen the mistakes he made and. The whole thing has been like lessons and learning processes for me, and I just avoid everything he has done that you know cost some stories and <laughs> stories and stories. I think there were times he lost about, I think there was a time he lost about thirty k, if I'm not mistaken. Or it should even be more than that. The single ad accounts he lost about thirty k. The money was gone. There was no way for him to get it back, All right? And yeah, that's it, guys. So every single thing we'll be sharing, like we have shared tonight, or we'll still share tomorrow concerning this ads issue, or whatever we've done in the past concerning the 15 days challenge. Take it really, really serious. These are experiences we've had. We are pouring it out, and we are giving you guys these guidelines so you don't make the same mistakes we have made in the past and things become really really easy and smooth for you going forward so thank you for joining tonight's session i'll see you guys tomorrow have a lovely night's rest all right uh, let me end the streaming on youtube Okay, I just ended the streaming. The replay 